Did you know that the same technology that keeps your city's water safe, prevents power outages, and runs modern factories has been around since the 1960s? It's called SCADA, and in my 35 years working with these systems, I've watched them evolve from simple telemetry to the backbone of industrial automation. Today, I'm breaking down SCADA architecture in just five minutes, knowledge that could save your facility thousands of dollars and countless headaches. SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. Think of it as the nervous system of your industrial operation. It lets you monitor, control, and gather data from your entire facility, often spread across wide geographical areas. At its most basic, every SCADA system has three main layers. Let's break them down from the bottom up. First, we have the field level. This is where the actual work happens. Your pumps, motors, valves, sensors, and other equipment. Connected to these are two critical components. Remote terminal units or RTUs. These are rugged computers designed to work in harsh environments and connect to equipment spread over wide areas like pipelines or electrical grids. And programmable logic controllers or PLCs. These are the workhorses that directly control your equipment, executing programmed logic based on inputs from sensors and switches. Now, a question I get all the time. Alana, when should I use an RTU versus a PLC? Here's the critical difference. Traditional RTUs are primarily data gatherers and communicators. They collect readings from field instruments and relay that information back to the control center. They typically don't perform local control functions. PLCs, on the other hand, are built specifically for control. They can make decisions and execute complex control logic locally without relying on the central system. This local control capability is absolutely essential in manufacturing and process environments where response time is critical and you can't afford communication delays. That's why you'll see RTUs dominating in utilities, pipelines, and water systems, where your primary need is gathering data from widely distributed assets, and you don't need sophisticated local control. PLCs excel at fast, deterministic control with dense I.O. and concentrated areas. When you need equipment to respond instantly to changing conditions, or implement safety interlocks, or run complex sequences, that's where PLCs shine. Here's my rule of thumb after 35 years in the field. If you need data collection over miles with minimal control, think RTU. If you need local control capabilities measured in milliseconds, absolutely use a PLC. Modern hybrid devices are blurring these lines, but understanding this fundamental difference will save you headaches down the road. Here's another insight. The most common issue I see is insufficient planning at this level. Always leave room for expansion. You'll need it sooner than you think. Moving up, we have the control level. This is where your data gets processed and where operators interact with the system through human machine interfaces or HMIs. These HMIs display real-time information, alarms, and historical data. They let operators control equipment and respond to issues without having to physically be at the equipment location. The glue holding everything together is the communication network. This can use various protocols like Modbus, DNP3, or Ethernet IP, depending on your industry and equipment age. At the top, we have the management level. This includes servers that store your historical data, generate reports, and often connect to business systems. Data historians store your process information, while reporting systems turn that data into actionable insights for improving efficiency and planning maintenance. What makes SCADA powerful is how these three levels work together. Data flows up from the field level, gets processed at the control level, and is stored and analyzed at the management level. Meanwhile, commands flow back down from operators to the equipment. Quick tip. In today's connected world, don't overlook cybersecurity. Each level needs appropriate protection measures, especially at the boundaries between levels. And there you have it, SCADA architecture in under five minutes. Understanding this structure is your foundation for troubleshooting, designing, or expanding any industrial control system. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more practical control insights. Leave a comment with questions or topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching.